Good morning. So day four of our Manang adventure. And uh, today we are heading to the Milarepa cave. So it's going to be a fun day today. As you can see the weather, it has cleared up. Yesterday there was snowfall. Uh, the weather has uh, changed and we have some blue sky. But uh, there is snow on the way. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, let's, let's start this bike. It's very cold. It is a beautiful day today with clear blue sky and warm sunshine. There are many activities and places to explore in Manang village and one of the itinerary is the Milarepa cave. It's a day hike from the village of Manang and uh, where we will be exploring the cave where Yogi Milarepa meditated. It's up those mountain cliff beneath Mount Annapurna tree. So it's going to be a fun day today. So let's get started. Okay, so the current time is 8 and uh, we have now reached uh, the Baraka village. It's about 25 minutes hike from uh, the village of Manang. But if you take a motorcycle, it's just a 5 minutes. And we are going to leave the motorcycle at hotel, Buddha Hotel. And we are actually waiting for a guide. It's always uh, a good idea to hire a local guide when exploring unknown territories. Right. So we are going to the Milarepa cave, which should be somewhere in there, about uh, 4,000 meters above sea level. So you can see there's a lot of snow cover, mountain. This is because uh, yesterday there was some good amount of snowfall. And uh, if we take a look at the backside, we can actually see the village of Braka. Hello. This is the village of Braka. Uh, we can actually see it much better from here, I guess. Uh, later on, we will be coming to this village to explore the ancient Gumba. Actually, there is a monastery over there. A very old monastery. So we'll be exploring this uh, old village of Raka. Anyways, now it's time to wait for our guide. Uh, let's get started. We are actually waiting for the guide and we have our guide right here, right? Hello. Uh, Nan? Karma Bahadur. Karma Bahadur. So he will be our local guide for exploring the Milarepa cave. And the yeah. La. Hello. La Hello. Crossing the suspension bridge over the Marsangdi River, we begin our hike towards the Milarepa cave.
It is a beautiful hike today as we climb up the mountain alongside the ridge line and down below we can see the village of Braka. It's a uphill hike from the village down below towards the cave. It's right at the base of these mountains at the base of Annapurna tree. These are like little birds footprint. They are showing us the direction. So our guide brother along the way gathered some local incense leaves and we're going to offer some incense leaf uh, alongside this uh, stupa located at this pristine forest. This is really a holy site. Okay. It's a pine. Incense pine. So we just uh, burned some incense at the stupa, the holy location. So this is more than halfway up. We have already climbed. Now about 45, one hour left. And we are climbing up this, I would say a holy forest, spiritual forest, surrounded by big old pine trees, uh, walking on the snow carpet. Okay, so we need to walk slowly, black ice along the way. <laughs> so the trail now climbs up the forest, the beautiful alpine forest. And speaking of the altitude, we are currently at around 3,750 meters.
So currently we are at an altitude of around 3,900 meters. And uh, this is the trail. As you can see, there's massive cliff beneath these high mountains. Down there is the Manang Valley. And uh, you can see some prayer flags in there. And that is the spot where monks uh, come to meditate. So this is a very spiritual location. And taking a look at here, you can see that's the, that's the peak of Annapurna 3. And there is actually a glacier there on the top. You can see the trail goes up this cliff. You can also see some prayer flags up there. And behind those cliffs is the cave of Milarepa, where Lord Milarepa meditated. So thanks to our informative guide here, we came to know that this this plant is called Pojpatra. Yeah. Pojpatra, meaning uh, there are actually these, you know, the bark, you know, off of the bark. It's it's exactly like plastic. You can see if you take a look at it, it's just like plastic. You can also see some transparency in there. <laughs> so this is used for making making Nepali. Kagas, you know, okay. Nepali paper. So used for making Nepali paper where the scriptures are written, Buddhist scripture. So yeah, this is really surreal, right? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so this is like a plastic paper. And you can see all these trees are postpatra trees. As we continue the hike, the trail becomes steeper and more challenging with snow-covered rocky terrains. However, the view that surrounds us is breathtaking. It is a surreal landscape with high snow-capped mountains towering above us. It's truly beautiful. After a steep uphill climb, hiking for more than 5 kilometers up from the village of Braka, we notice a monastery located in an isolated and a peaceful location on the laps of Mount Annapurna 3. From this location, we have our first view of the sacred cave. The Milarepa cave and monastery is located on a jaw-dropping cliff where the 11th century Tibetan Mahasiddha Guru Milarepa meditated. Good afternoon. So it's uh, 11 in the morning. Uh, we've been hiking for almost three hours now. So we have reached this holy site, the spiritual location. As you can see, we have the Gumba, Milarepa Gumba. And in the cliff, you can see the actual place where Lord Milarepa meditated. Uh, there's a cave over there. And then there is another cave over there. And there is also a bow that's stuck on the cliff. Okay. Now, I just had a nice conversation with a monk here who is meditating, isolated meditation in this cliff. And he said that uh, Milarepa is a great yogi. So he traveled here from Tibet to meditate. So once upon a time, a hunter came to this valley uh, hunting a deer, came after deer. 
he also had a dog. And then he saw a yogi meditating at this high mountain cliff. So he went to investigate and uh, Milarepa, he was singing a song. He was singing a song and all of a sudden the deer and the dog stayed right behind the hunter listening to the song. Marveled by this, the hunter actually you know, went towards the yogi and he thought like actually is he actually a yogi? He's a, he knows the black magic. Is, is he really a yogi? So he was really, you know, at first he was quite angry at it because he was actually hunting, right? So he went towards the yogi and uh, aimed the bow towards the yogi to shoot at him. But somehow the bow malfunctioned. It didn't work. It didn't work. Then the hunter actually thought, right, this guy should have some great power. And he went to investigate these caves, as you can see. And he came to know that he was actually meditating here. And he regretted the decision of aiming at yogi. So he went towards the Milarepa, great yogi, and bowed at him, offering him the bow like this, so as to promise, like he is never going to hunt again, never going to hunt. And it's that, that, that bow, actually, it's still in the cliff, that wooden bow, supernatural power is still in there. Uh, we're going to go over there and take a look at it. But that's the story. And what about the hunter? He became a yogi as well, a great disciple, a follower of Milarepa. So that's the story behind the great yogi. And we are at this beautiful location. We are really blessed to be here.
Okay, so the time is almost 12. We have climbed up some treacherous uh, path. Uh, and uh, thanks to our guide, he made our way. And we are now here at this uh, location where this is the house of Milarepa. It says that he has stayed over here and he threw the hunter's bow from here towards the cliff and that hunt, that bow is still stuck in the cliff you know it's like 12 almost thousands of years old it's up there but anyhow you can see we are at the base of Annapurna 3 mountain the glacial glacier is like right there and this is a surreal location this is like a I would say Sangrila. Now, if somebody is searching for the meaning of the word Sangrila, this is Sangrila, truly a spiritual, beautiful place. If you are visiting Manang, be sure to come to Milarepa Cave and don't forget a guide. After spending some time exploring the cave and the surrounding region, we retraced our steps back to the Vraka village, where we head up towards a hotel owned by our guide brother for a much needed lunch. Seabok turn juice. Cheers. Well, the case again. Yeah, let's take it. Sunny. Hello, Mama. Mama, thank you for the food. Food, food. No, no. Meat to eat. No. Oh, Agbar is so nice. After having our lunch, we headed towards the village of Braka, an ancient settlement located at an altitude of 3,475 meters. As we explore this unique village, we experience tranquil ambience, a traditional lifestyle of the Manangi people. One of the main attractions of Braga village is the Braga Monastery, also known as the Braga Gompa. The 600-year-old Braga Gompa holds immense religious and cultural significance in this region. The monastery features centuries-old exquisite architecture, intricate woodwork, and impressive collection of religious artifacts.
Wow, truly beautiful. We are at this uh, Braca village, an ancient village, and we are on the monastery, the Braca monastery, one of the oldest monastery in Nepal, ancient monastery. And it's been a very adventurous journey coming all the way from Kathmandu on a motorcycle. It has been a thrilling experience and uh, we are like blown away by the beauty. Take a look at it. We're surrounded by high mountains, ancient villages. And uh, I would like to thank our guide brother, Mr. Karma Bahadur Gurung for taking us up the high uh, mountains, uh, the place where Yogi Milarepa has meditated. Right? Thank you so much. And anyone who is visiting Manang, please do visit and explore the surrounding, the Milarepa cave, the Gangapurna lake, the glacier viewpoint, ice lake, so many places to explore in this beautiful location. And it's always great to have a local guide to be by your side. And uh, I will just link his name and his uh, contact details on the description down below. So be sure to check it out. And with that being said, I'd like to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And with that being said, thank you. Namaste. Tashidele. Jojolopa. Bye-bye. <laughs>